How many of you have played Dungeons and Dragons? The rest of you are lying. Okay. Um, no, you're, you're in a very select group if you did not play Dungeons and Dragons and you're in this room. Okay. Um, so uh, how many of you can recite the uh, D&D mantra? Strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma, right? Um, given the tabletop roots of most game pioneers, it's no surprise that we have uh, learned a lot from uh, tabletop role playing. Okay, the most important thing, and I think the best thing, is we've learned the power of collaborative storytelling. It's like I said, when I first discovered D&D, &D, telling stories with my friends was the most amazing thing I'd ever done, okay? Uh, and that, I believe, is the fundamental nature of video games as well. If we're doing it right, we're collaborating to tell stories with our players, all right? Uh, we're at our best when we're doing that. And borrowing that idea from tabletop role-playing games is probably the most important thing we can do. But there are some ways that we're different or should be. Content. Uh, I never want to see another game where you're the last space marine between Earth and Alien Invasion. Okay? Uh, I never want to see, never is a big word. I would rather not see a whole lot more games where a guy in plate armor is swinging a broadsword or there's some woman in chainmail bikini. Okay? We just don't need that anymore. Uh, we need to break away from adolescent male power fantasies, which is where classic tabletop games pretty much live. Um, and we have to, I mean, D&D was invented by a bunch of war gamers locked in a library basement in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. We, we cannot let that drive our future, uh, okay? Um, another way in, in which we should not be learning from tabletop games is in their simulation techniques. Um, we have so many better ways to simulate what's going on in the world than secret die rolls, you know? Um, we have physics. We have object property systems. We have all sorts of ways of letting uh, players interact with the world that do not involve secret die rolls behind a dungeon master screen, okay? Um, if you're still thinking in terms of D20s, you're probably thinking game development 1990, 90. <laughs> Um, okay, and one way in which we're different should shame us. Uh, I have been saying for years that what we need is a virtual dungeon master. Uh, I mean, it's the, the coolest thing in games is when you screw over your dungeon master by doing something that he or she didn't expect, <laughs> right? And until we have a virtual dungeon master, until we can actually dynamically change gameplay, not difficulty, screw game, di difficulty, but until we can actively change gameplay, we're going to be somewhat less than tabletop role-playing games. So someone out there solve that problem because I damn well don't know how. Okay, so the lessons we have to learn, dungeon master. Get away from character classes. I mean, why do we need character classes in video games? It drives me crazy. Why do we have to roll? I mean, to hit armor class zero has no place in video games. Um, yeah, anyway. Okay, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. <laughs> <laughs>